Oh my god, his parry animation. So beautiful. I am also almost dead. Yeah, okay. I uh, I messed it up by moving. I want to get that again and see what we can do. Wow, you can reach them from far. Let's see, does he have a suplex? Ha! <laughs> he teleported! <laughs> He teleported with the suplex. The punch animation, besides that one, that one is actually just like, uh, you know, what a uh, Wesker animation would be like. But the uh, the other animation kind of looks like a uh, punch from Hunk. The one where he has like the little like Assassin's Creed blade hidden away. Oh my God, that parry. We're approaching a month since Resident Evil 4 remake released everywhere throughout the world for people to play as. And Ada Wong and Wesker are still missing in mercenaries mode until today. Well, Wesker, that is. Modders have actually found out how to access the code of Wesker, not just for his animations or his model, but for his gameplay elements too. So now we have cool, crazy effects that Wesker can emit with his insane superhuman punches and also his crazy kicks that you guys all know and love from the original game it all functions here guys and his mayhem mode works as well which is amazing shout out to the modders i'm going to be linking in the description below where you guys can get this they put in a lot of crazy work for this so really grateful for them to get this to us if you love the resident evil content and you guys absolutely are looking forward to more be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more guys only 12 percent of you who watch and love the videos are currently subscribed let's raise that even higher because even though resident evil 4 has come out and we've beaten it many times over there's still a lot of stuff to do with this game and you don't want to miss a second of it now with that being said let's get into the video it's a pretty simple process as most mods are for installing on nexus and that is exactly where we're going to be getting it from. As of right now, this mod has about 5,428 downloads. I'm expecting to see that shoot up even more because again, it's the ultimate Wesker mod. We don't know how long we will be without his DLC character for the time being, him and Ada. It replaces Leon with Wesker in the campaign for the story and mercenaries mode. He has working melee attacks and his full animation. He also has three outfits to choose from and they're going to be giving us the full Wesker experience in mercenaries, exactly how he'll be played save for his kit, which is still being worked on as we speak. So majority of his elements will be present in the mod, but there's some other stuff that they don't have access to just yet. It's important important to note chat that this pack does include all the different skins for Wesker. You have the normal Wesker from Resident Evil 4, Stars Wesker, the OG Wesker outfit, and the default Wesker outfit as well. So to install it, we're going to go over to the files tab over here and you're going to see Wesker effects, the Wesker RE4 OG Mercs outfit, the default outfit with gloves, uh, RE4 with glasses without the head rigging, and the Stars Mercs outfit. I'm gonna keep it classic and go with the uh, OG Mercenaries outfit. When you click on manual download, if you have a Nexus Mods account, you're not gonna have as many ads, of course, but you're gonna have to click the slow download. It's completely free, but you just gotta wait five seconds for these to download. And I personally want the uh, Wesker effects, so I'm also gonna be downloading that as well. Now you can use any unzipping program. WinRAR is what I'm going to be using. Some people have 7-Zip, other people just use the standard Windows one. Whichever one you have is perfectly fine. And now there are tons of mods for Resident Evil 4 Remake, so in order to install them properly and just keep better track of them, the community has developed for us Fluffy Mod Manager, which you're going to want to get your hands on to install these mods, guys. That's the other thing that we're going to be downloading in this. So you're going to go to Files, and Manual Download, again, Fluffy Mod Manager. When Fluffy Mod Manager finishes downloading, you can extract the entire folder to wherever it is that you want. I personally made a folder for itself on my desktop. So I'm gonna drag everything inside of there and we're gonna close out of the RAR file. Now over here, we're gonna go over to the Mod Manager EXE, click on that and scroll all the way down. Hmm, I see a lot of Capcom games over here. And we're gonna find Resident Evil 4 Remake. There's also the demo too, look at that. And there you go, it should find Resident Evil 4 Remake already for you guys, but for whatever reason, if it does not, you can actually click the Choose Game or the Choose Game Folder icon in order to locate that inside of your Steam Apps directory. So we're going to click on Mod List, and it's going to bring up a list of mods, which we have none installed right now outside of RE Framework and DLSS Mod, which if, by the way, you guys want to see that because it's so baller, let me know. I'll make a video on how to install that. But what's really cool about Fluffy Mod Manager is once you download the mods, depending on what type it is, 
is like for this Wesker one if you double click it it has a bunch of different folders and files already included which means the raw file itself can be read inside of the mod manager so we're gonna take the Wesker's OG Mercs outfit and literally drag it into the fluffy mod manager window give it a few seconds And there we go. If you click right here, you can see it has Wesker's OG RE4 version right here. You can activate it. And you do the same with the effects folder. You literally drag it inside of there. It says it already exists for me, so I'm not going to overwrite it. I'm just going to leave it alone. So if the switch is to the right, that means it's activated. If it's to the left, that means it's currently disabled. So we're going to turn on the effects as well. You see on the bottom left right there, installed mod Wesker's effects. So let's go back to the category and it shows us right here. There is one mod over Leon's character model and that is the playable Wesker. If you have other Leon stuff here, you can disable and select which ones you want to have up. And uh, same goes for the textures. We have the Wesker effects already active as well. And now that that's installed, and it's very easy thanks to the mod manager, we are going to launch the game and try it out. And now we've booted up Mercenaries mode on Steam. I thought that for a second. <laughs> for a second, I don't know why I thought this buddy right here was Wesker. But uh, remember, he is mapped over Leon. So in order to play as Wesker, we're gonna have to play as uh, Leon. So let's go to the island. And we're gonna pick Leon and unfortunately Wesker's gonna have all of Leon's weapons. They don't have Wesker's weapons unlocked as of yet. That's just what we got to deal with for now. So let's see what this boy plays like, man. It's gonna be pretty damn hype. I'm so excited. Oh my God, look at this guy. Oh, I forgot my, I don't have the glasses. Shoot. <laughs> Yo, the punch animation. Wow, you can reach them from far. You could actually, huh? Let me see how far away. Here, let's see. Get them. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> like we said before, the uh, the hitbox isn't going to be accurate, so you will be missing some moves if you're trying to do it from a little bit further away. I was so sick. <laughs> you know, you just like bypass that. Let's see. Does he have a suplex? <laughs> he teleported. <laughs> he teleported with the suplex. Yo, this guy is stupid. Boom. Bing. Bong. He's just standing there. All right, what other animations you got? Let's see. Besides a suplex. Oh, he has a little, a little kind of like an uppercut. All right, let's see. We got, okay, we have his mayhem mode. We got to try that out now. Shoot, let's go. Damn it, come on. <laughs> oh my God, this dude's got combos. All right, can he do any cancels? Any move cancels? I feel like, okay, I feel like actual Wesker will probably be able to be a little bit more mobile. Uh, he does feel kind of limited in like Leon's like skin if that makes any sense, but man this see oh, this feels fun Am I taking damage? I wasn't paying attention. What, am I able to take damage in that form? The hell it just Did I glitch it? Oh Wow, look I glitched it if I just keep mashing it. It just still goes. I Wonder if I move will I still be able to do that? Yeah, okay. I uh, I messed it up by moving. I want to get that again and see what we can do. Oh my god, his parry animation. So beautiful. I am also almost dead. The punch animation, besides that one, that one is actually just like, uh, you know, what a uh, Wesker animation would be like. But the, uh, the other animation kind of looks like a uh, punch from Hunk. The one where he has like the little like Assassin's Creed blade hidden away. Oh my god, that parry. All right, where's the uh, pig man? Yo, the hit stun you get from it is crazy.
<laughs> you just keep... <laughs> Look how fast he's moving. Oh my god. It, it feels funny. I feel like as Wesker, right? Because we're on a, like a Leon mo uh, body model. I feel like as Wesker, we'd probably get a little bit more mobility for that. I wonder if Wesker stabs with the knife too, or if that's just like a- Cause I mean, it's very similar to like a Leon type of thing. Let's see chat. I'm gonna keep mashing it right here and see what happens. No, it didn't happen again. I don't know what caused that last time, but we were like in an infinite uh, combo loop, it's essential, essentially. Ouch. Wesker punch! Oh god, they're both here? Bing bong! Cool! There we go, we got to see what a punch animation looks like. It's just like a his regular like parry animation. But still, that's pretty badass. Oh my god. The parry guys, sorry, the, uh, the stun rod guys can't fuck with Wesker like that. Transform. Transform Wesker. I was over here mashing it. Fuck! <laughs> uh, that's too funny. <laughs> Wesker feels so fun to play as. I seriously cannot wait for him and Ada Wong to be available for us to play officially. Right now, this is an early look, a very quick glimpse at what his kit and style will be like as far as like the functioning goes within mercenaries. And of course, you can use this also in the campaign mode too. Let's boot up the campaign real quick just to see what Wesker looks like uh, reskinned under Leon. Did he just whiff? Did you guys see that? Okay, okay, all right, I... <laughs> he just completely missed it. Ouch. All right, so that's on the melee hit. Dang, I do like the laser dot a little bit more. Playing with the laser dot so much in mercenaries mode. So much fun. So, okay, so that, do not use Wesker. <laughs> do not use Wesker as Leon in the story mode. It is not functioning properly. The hitboxes are not working as intended. That shit is crazy. I just like point blank range missed that melee attack off of the parry too. Man, I can't wait to do a full playthrough on like mouse and keyboard chat. Ow, my ass. But yeah, okay, so Wesker in the campaign as of right now is a no. I do not recommend it at all. Not on my worst enemy. Those melee strikes were absolutely annoying. The parry doesn't properly function. All in all, it seems to be uh, best suited to use him in the mercenaries mode. By the way, this outfit kind of sucks. <laughs> I wish I chose the other outfit, but you guys can choose whichever one you want. If you guys are interested in seeing any other mods for Resident Evil 4 Remake, please comment below and let me know. I will round up the top five, especially the DLSS one, and show you guys how to install that and get you guys good to go because the DLSS one, RE Framework, it's amazing and makes the game run fucking beautiful. Seriously, I think right now, what is this running at right now? We got, I, I, I'm in 4K, 110 frames with DLSS mod on and I have it on right here as you guys can see RE framework on the top temporal upscaler enabled sharpness intact and we have it on quality for DLSS you can also change it no not, not, not really there but they also have other stuff quality and whatnot but the quality just looks really good functions very well and in general looks so much better than FSR I don't know what I was smoking talking about that before but shout out to the baby still showing showcasing this to me but yeah uh, 110 frames 4k and i'm pretty sure when enemies on the screen that's dropping to like the 90s maybe uh high 80s uh mid 90s overall it runs looks and plays fucking smooth 4k anybody can run it be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more 
Resident Evil videos are on the way and you do not want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.